Hi, my name's Steve. Um, we're from uh, Edmonton in Queensland. Chelsea was involved in a car accident on the 7th of June this year um, where she suffered um, a fracture of the L2 vertebrae with uh, spinal cord injuries. Uh, she's classified as a T9 paraplegic. We went from emergency department up straight up into um, ICU where I was met by um, a couple of the ICU nurses that explained to me that uh, that uh, when I see Chelsea it won't be the most prettiest sight. Um, I won't see much of Chelsea because she's all covered up um, and when she stabilises uh, she will then go back into surgery again. Seeing Chelsea laying there was very gut-wrenching. Laying there so lifeless um, with a neck brace on. Um, words can't actually comprehend the absolute feeling that I was going through. We're admitted to um, the um, PICU, uh, Paediatric ICU, here at Royal Children's Hospital. Uh, Chelsea went in for her operation on her, um, on her spine, uh, to our, up either side of the, um, of the uh, L2 vertebrae uh, to strengthen her back. She was then uh, fitted for a uh, cast, um, which she had to wear for three months. Uh, Chelsea's paralysed from the waist down um, with uh, no bladder or bowel control function, um, no feeling in her legs. Um, uh, Chelsea will um, be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. It has been a fairly hard road the first three or four days after the accident. And it still is a fairly hard road, but nowhere near as hard as it was when we started this journey with Chelsea. I look at it that um, she's still alive. Um, she's still a very happy little girl. Um, she knows that she can't feel her legs. She knows that she won't walk again. But that doesn't stop her. These two gorgeous big dimples on either side of her face. Uh, she's just an absolute She's an absolute amazement to me. I have a great team of doctors, physios, speech therapists, occupational therapists, music therapists um, dealing with Chelsea on a daily basis. The uh, staff, the nursing staff, are the doctors um, here at Royal Children's in both the ICU and um, the McConnell Ward where uh, Chelsea's been. have been absolutely marvellous. Such a, such dedicated um, people um, to work with kids of all different sicknesses here, it's unbelievable. The fundraising goes to research to help kids like my daughter Chelsea and other kids that I have met here um, and families 